All right, ahead of that, we've got former Cincinnati Republican there, Ken Blackwell, and a big fan, of course, of the President of the United States with us right now on this growing chorus call. And it is that, you know, Ken, if you think about it, uh, to question the legitimacy and the fairness right now of Bob Mueller and his investigation. Republicans are saying there's enough, enough fire here to fire the guy. What do you say? Look, uh, this is outrageous, what's, what's, what's going on, and it, it, it paints a picture of a banana republic. Uh, and I, I actually think uh, that one or two things are going to happen. One, there will be a, a course of calls for his ouster uh, and a termination of this witch hunt, uh, or there will be sufficient evidence that he and Rosenstein and, and a whole host of other people believe that there's no there there. And at the end of the day, if he, in fact, basically says there's no there there, that it, it will take away all of the uh, opposition uh, to, that, to that decision. Uh, I would opt for the first strategy, and that would be uh, for us to uh, use a clean broom and, 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 and sweep out all of the shenanigans. Do you worry, though, Ken, and so getting that, be careful what you wish for, because it just delays and maybe protracts this entire, you know, soap opera, and that just at a time we are getting reports that uh, Bob Mueller's team is done interviewing people at the very least. That doesn't mean the, the investigation's wrapping up, but normally when you're done interviewing people, it's getting close to wrapping up. That might be wrong, uh, but what do you make of that? Well, that would suggest, uh, particularly if you hold the, the, the latter point of view that I just expressed, uh, that there's no there there, and it's, and it's all um, <clears throat> been a wish list from the left, and, and, and he will pronounce uh, this case closed uh, and that there was no, no collusion. Uh, I, I tell you, there's still a lot of work to be done, uh, whether it's by uh, Congress or, or a special counsel, uh, to, to take a look at the Uranium One issue that has surfaced as a consequence of this. Uh, Neil, uh, at, at the end of the day, uh, what they have done to the reputation of uh, one of the finest law enforcement agencies in the world is scandalous. And that's what really concerns me, uh, is that we have an FBI that is known for its objectivity is known for its even-handedness and its thoroughness, uh, and now you have these sort of stories uh, coming out that would suggest that, you know, that the investigations have been weaponized in a political way. Uh, that is really uh, disconcerting. All right, Ken. Thank you very much, Ken Blackwell, the former Cincinnati. Hey, Neil, yeah. Neil, let me just let me, let me just say that uh, just tell Stewart that I got your, I have your back. Uh, my, my colleagues, uh, Umberto and Carlo, we have some cannoli that we're bringing into the Big Apple on my next trip. Well, you better not give them to him. <laughs> no, Just it's saying. coming to you. Oh, there you go. All right, we're, we're, we're fine with that. We're fine with that. Or if you do have them for him, he's right, got to pay for them, like double. All right, there's no, there's no cannoli right. neutrality going on here. Um, all right, thank you, Ken Blackwell.